All right, let's talk uh, more about the U.S. men's national team coming into their final Group B game. They've had two draws, as you know, one and one against Wales, nil-nil with England. So joining me now is Alexandria native and University of Maryland alum, Arlington soccer alum, U.S. men's national team former player who made his debut with the national team last year in the Gold Cup and is currently a midfielder for the Portland Blazers, excuse me, Portland Timbers. <laughs> I almost talked NBA, not MLS. We're so happy, so happy to welcome Eric Williamson uh, on our show. Eric, thanks for joining us. I see you in the car right there. Appreciate your time. All right, so let, let's talk about this game. I know you're excited for, for your guys who are playing tonight, this afternoon. Tell us how you see this match will shape up to be, in your opinion. I mean, this is the biggest winner go home game yet. You know, it's three games in the group. They had two that were, you know, fell their way. And I know that they're going to go out, you know, full guns blazing, fully ready to go um, to win this game today. Well, we've talked about the USA uh, and their lack of goal scoring in this tournament. They only have one goal that came in the first game against Wales, courtesy of Tim Awea. What do they need to do to get the offense moving? Yeah, I think they need to get an early goal, a goal that will force uh, Iran to come out a little bit, you know, force them to to play and, 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 and expose themselves a bit. And, and once they do that, you know, we're good on set pieces. We, we could do a little better there, but I know that they'll – go out and get a goal and they'll force Iran to come out a little bit and, and, and they'll expose them and get a couple more after that. This has been one of those crazy situations for Team USA where they're facing a team that is facing so much outside of the game in a team like Iran and they're playing with so much passion and they're also playing for their people as is the United States. But I feel like Iran, do you feel like the pressure is maybe more on them or do they have nothing to lose? Um, I think it's it's more in the U.S. The U.S. has a strong team. We know that we can go and, and we want to be in the knockout stage. We want to be some of the um, top talents in the in the world. And I think, you know, pressure's on us. They they have a little bit of pressure knowing that, you know, they're, you know, dealing with some stuff in their country and, and, and a little bit of um, stuff there. But I know that the U.S. wants to make it out the group. They, they, they want to show the world that we're here to play. We're not just a country that... You know, as soccer is not our first sport, we want to make the first sport and and be one of the strongest ones in the world. What they need to do is to be united in this game. And I say UNITY, and I say that because I know who your cousin is, Queen Latifah. So uh, I had to use that reference in there. So hopefully they can get a little unity united in advance of that next round. Eric, uh, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you. And uh, I'm sure what's your final prediction real quick? What's the score? I say it's 3-1 U.S. 3-1 U.S. All right, you heard it there from Eric. Appreciate your time, Eric. Marissa?